Hello everyone, good day to you. It's always a pleasure to uh, to uh, come into your worlds and help you uh, with your issues and uh, to get yourself happy and joyful again. I mean, that's that's what we have to do, you know, despite the journey here and the insanity of all that. Uh, it's good. Uh, you've got to have a laugh once in a while and you've just got to get yourself happy no matter what. I think these are the times where uh, becoming more free in material possessions and in thought and in emotions, you know, simplicity at all levels, I think is the key to survival of the future. Understanding you don't, you don't really need a lot to survive here. I think there's just so much of, of um, materialism that's been crammed down the uh, throats of so many that we need that other side to filtrate. We need that spirituality, that, that essence of freedom behind that. You can have what you want, just as long as you don't care for it. And I've always said you can have anything you want, just as long as you don't care if you lose it tomorrow. You know, if a hurricane comes and takes your place, so what? You still got yourself. And of course, if it took your body, so what? You're free from that. So, you know, it's like you got to kind of be free, you know, in yourselves at all times so you can feel good and happy because you'll feel the best when you feel the most free. That's about getting these obstructions out of the human body, getting these obstructions out of your emotional body, getting these thoughts under control. Only breeds happiness and joy, you know. It doesn't breed the other side. Someone sent me, uh, this is going to be a Q&A video, and someone sent me these. I've kind of set them to the side here because it's such a thick pack, but this person's asking me, this is Lindsay, and asking me about these different things people are seeing come out of them. And she made note here that especially autistic children are seeing these stringy things coming out of their stool. So let's look at these. Uh, parasites or not, hard to say. Uh... There's some microscopic findings. I'd have to read that and go through that, which I don't have any time to do. But I'll show you some pictures. Uh, I'm like a kid. I like pictures. <laughs> yeah, let me show you some of these. Yeah, this is good stuff. A lot of mucoid uh, plaque there. You know, that's what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Mucus bonds in an acidic medium. You would think acids would tear apart, and 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 uh, and and they do at a certain level. At another level, it creates this anionic, this this coagulated medium of dehydration, and so fluids. Uh, and then, of course, on the bowel wall, uh, which they loosely call mucoid plaque. Jensen used to get a lot of that stuff off. Um, this um, uh, this is a particular parasite. That that mucoid plaque, of course, blocks absorption. White flour products, mucousy products, which is the dairy products, white flour, and, and we used to eat that as farmers. We had a slice of white bread in a bowl, and we either put grape jelly or white sugar on it, and then poured milk on it and ate it. Boy, that was so good. You know, and I'm thinking, my God, worse than the no-nos almost, you know. Throw a piece of dead animal in there and you got all the top no-nos. <laughs> but uh, this is some type of um, uh, homo vunus, uh, funus uh, vermis or something, you know. Different stages of that nasty little thing. And then here's uh, some placky nasty stuff. You know, I wish I'd have taken Latin more. And uh, Sanskrit, I would love to know Sanskrit. Here's another page of beautiful stuff. There's thoughts on these, uh, talking about rope worms and uh, mucoid plaque. And I think, sweetheart, you're really looking at the best of it. Uh, I haven't heard much about rope worms, definitely thread worms. Uh, I've got a nice little uh, flax here of thread worms for you. Uh, this is a flask of threadworms. 
And then this is, uh, you can't hardly see it, it died on me. I had this thing alive. This was a round worm, about 13 inches long. I don't know if you can see it through that jar. That was a nice little baby. I didn't know what to feed it. Keep him alive. I wanted to keep that little baby alive. Wouldn't it be nice to have some, uh, a little family of round worms on your desk? <laughs> I don't know. I, I know that a lot of this is mucus that's coagulated and locked together, especially in your bowel wall. And you can see why there'd be no absorption on that. So when they say mucus or uh, lymphoid tissue stuff, absolutely. I mean, this is all lymphatic stuff. This is all mucus, a lipid-based system. It's all that mucus you get, and it dehydrates. It locks and becomes solidified in the body. Hard to get out. That's why you see people cough and cough and cough and trying to pull this stuff out, but it's locked in there, and some of the older people can damage their ribs doing this and all that. I'll look a little more into that and give you more on that, but, you know, parasitology, here we come. I mean, the stuff coming out of people, unbelievable. That reminds me, um, uh, shout out to uh, the Facebook people. I hope those, uh, those protocols work for you. Matter of fact, uh, if you like that, we'll do more uh, case studies here. Uh, uh, shout out to Dimitri. Listen, Dimitri. You kick butt. Here's a 42-day fast on water. Now, this didn't end uh, quite like he thought it would. And uh, uh, you even scared me too, man. So, uh, but he had got copious, I mean huge amounts of sulfur and mucus out of his mouth. Something to what you've seen there. Just copious amounts. Constant gas and air. Constant taste of, of, of uh, sulfur. So when when they when they when this world don't get this idea of sulfur is a no no to humans, not good. So this poor young lad, forty two days on a water fast, uh, I thought it was going to kill you, man. From the but he couldn't. Then his body didn't want anything to eat, nothing whatsoever. So I thought, uh oh, you know, when you break up the body that fast, that much mucus. My concern is so much mucus can't get out, kill you. I mean, there is those concerns. This is why I use the fruit fast and the herbs for quite a while before we do the stepped up to water fasting. But you guys, you young guys are insane out there. And uh, I don't blame you, though. Most of them don't end that way. But after four days, basically, of a dry fast, after a water fast, he got out three or four large black stones. So that had to come out of your liver, uh or gallbladder, somewhere in that area. I mean, it could be in, in a bowel diverticulum or a bowel pocket, but, um, you know. And then get this, on the 10th day of his fast, his fingernails got hard again. Hmm. Makes you wonder what role nutrition really plays in life, don't it? So, I mean, it's pretty cool to see that whole process and long extended fasts that people go on. I don't think, I can't remember my longest water fast, but I don't think it was over three weeks, to be honest with you. I don't think I've ever done a 40-day water fast. I just can't remember that far back. Uh, but that's a, that's a, fasting on water is your, the most powerful level to be at in detoxification. Not easy for some to get there. And this is why I say in depleted cases, I don't even consider it. Because we've got to get things turned on, a lot of mucus out of the body. Because when you fast, the body's pushing everything it can out. And that's so you have to be careful with that. So he's doing great. Uh, so heads up and uh, five gold stars, man. You really did a, a good job for yourself. But what you're learning and what we can talk about at these higher levels is interesting, like fingernail growth and uh, some of the other things you've experienced, you know. Good stuff, you know. But that's what this is all about. And that's what we are all about here is working together and helping each other achieve some lofty heights. Not everyone can achieve these, and that's okay, guys. Don't expect any, a lot of you to go on these 40-day water fasts. Very powerful. But I would expect a 40-day grape fast. That one I do put a lot of people on a lot of times. It sounds like a long time, but you're really just on a diet of grapes or grapes and another food, a fruit, uh, for 40 days. It's not fasting. You're just eating grapes for 40 days. Plenty of nutrition, plenty of energy coming in. 
But the nature of the food, high cleanser, high antioxidants, uh, high flavonoids, just powerful healer, cleanser. So that in and of itself is a great, great way to get deep into the body. And then you can kick it up with the lemons. You can kick it up with water. You know, it's funny. We have to be at these levels, guys. And keeping in mind, just eating, a, eating, a, eating 40 days of grapes is really just eating the diet your body designed to eat. You're, you're, you're not doing anything different. And yet your body will detoxify and heal itself doing that. If you were a fruititarian already, then water fasting would be your next step above that if you needed to dig deeper. And there are some that might have to enter that realm to get into those deepest recesses of the, of the interstitial floods that are stagnant to help get a remedy here. It is, it's possible. But you know what? These are fun things because... First of all, the challenge to your self-discipline is always a good thing. It'll always breed the self, more awareness, the control of the mind. So self-discipline is important to develop. And start out slow with it if you have to. But do something. Make a move in that direction where you're controlling the situation as much as you can about your ingestion or your thoughts or whatever. You know, try a fast of not thinking. These are things that you have to work with sometimes to break the control the mind has over you. And when you can practice a day not thinking, and watch that. Watch your thoughts come in. Call yourself the observer. Today, I'm the observer. I'm going to be observing life and its interactions and the people and their interactions. And I, I'm just, I'm not going to put a label. I'm not going to judge. I'm just going to watch. See if you can get there. Fun to do. You know, live that moment, every moment anew. Like I said, when you can drive down the, your street to get to your house, and it looks new every time you're down, down that street, you're in the now, baby. So, hi, my name is Victoria. I am in from Romania. Hi, Romania. And I am 24. Here's a 24-year-old. Since 20, I am under a psychiatric treatment. The diagnosis has been different. Recently been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I think I, I, think I hit, hit this one the other day, I'm for sure. Unfortunately, lately, I started confronted with too many side effects of these pills. My doctor, which is considerate to be the best from psychiatry area, near spoke me the reality of these terrible pills and how they are practically destroyed my body. I have tried to give up and, and body went directly with uh, several uh, deeply vomit, deep fever, terrible headaches, stomach, etc. You know, when you're on chemical meds and they cause this type of reaction to get off of them, scary, 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 scary. So, I think I've already addressed you, Victoria. If I'm not sure, I definitely addressed someone very similar. So whether you're diagnosed with bipolar or schizophrenia, it doesn't matter. Remember the endocrine glands. The glands in your body controls everything from your moods to your thoughts in a way to uh, the functions of all the chemical processes in the human body. Your glands literally control all the processes. And if you look at the body, you've got electrical department, you've got uh, heads of state where you've got the heads that oversee, produce the, 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 uh, the constituents that need to run everything. I mean, if you look at it, it's a whole communication network in the human body like, like no other. And it's fast. So, go and work on these endocrine glands. Parathyroid, thyroid, depression, lack of feeling of self-worth unhappiness, things like this, adrenal glands, oh, we all have adrenal glands, anxieties, anxiousness, inferiority complexes, uh, a line a mile long on that one, hard to breathe, all these factors like this are endocrine glands with a lot of neurotoxins in your life, and you want to make sure, Victoria, your house is clear of neurotoxins, and I don't know how you do that, but neurotoxins when you're sensitive and get around them, it'll be hard to take a deep breath. You'll go into kind of an anxiety uh, mode at the time, a, a dark world, if you will. Uh, so you've got to get these glands up and running. 
I recommend the glandulars when you're down and out and you're on uh, psychotropic drugs. Uh, the other side of this, flower essences, moonshine yarrow. I just talked about this in a video. If it's you, same thing. For all you guys out there, try the flower essences to uplift your moods. Keep flowers around your place, always on your desk or in your bedroom, somewhere where it just excites your senses to see and to smell. Uh, Embrace nature, which is nothing but love for you. Embrace the sun. You know, get healing from the sun. Take all these aspects and start on your wellness journey. Get on the raw fruits, berries, and melons, number one, with salads, number two. Start moving away from dead tissue, milks, uh, grains, crap like that, that have no beneficial effect but toxemia and acidosis. You know, uh, not not what we've been taught. That's keeping us here. And we have to get above that sort of thing. So, Victoria, you got to do these things. Look at the flower essences. Call in here for those if you want. Running Fox Farms if you want to Google. Uh, that sort of thing. And detox these meds out of you. Because you have to detox some of these residues out of you so you don't have the neurally side effects. Uh, unfortunately, only now I have been start to notice myself what really means uh, a synthetic medicine and how it kills people by patient with orthodox drug. You see all that. See, sweetheart, I am exhausted and need help. I accidentally read your book and felt trust in your words, trust your experience, trust your herbs. Thanks, sweetheart. I believe I did uh, uh, talk to you uh, via this uh, I would have honestly to speak once with you. I am feeling so tired of this treatment that doctor told me about. I truly believe that having an honest conversation. Well, sweetheart, you can talk to me right here. And I'll just say this. You can call in and talk to the staff anytime you want, sweetie. Get yourself an appointment if you have to. But start going for your own wellness. Know that these drugs are, they, they in themselves have created a lot of suicides. So this is something you want to get away from. You're not trying to suppress anything. You're trying to, you're trying to enhance, make healthy, and make well. And uh, ride with the emotional component. Whatever comes out, let it come out. Get yourself up on raw. Get yourself focused on your endocrine glands. I'm dead serious about that. Let's go after the thyroid, parathyroid. Fill you out a questionnaire. Send it in to Gen B or something so you, she can take a look at that and see if you, uh, you know, what all that's there. Do you have pituitary problems? Uh, that sort of thing. Kill the, the the fungus out of you. Get your get any worms out of you. This is another part of negativity and things. Go after that as well. So that's why detoxification at some of these higher accelerated levels are vital to those that are on these uh uh, antidepressants and all these type of things like that because those never cure. Those only lead into to worlds of hell. So break away from that, honey. Uh, we'll be glad here to help you and just break away from that. And replace it. Replace it with, with granulars and flower essences. They work beautifully. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. They'll help keep you in a good place. And that's what you want to use while you're doing I tell you, we have such great tools God gave so many great tools, the flowers, the plants. I mean, we should be proud to have those in all the hospitals and look at what we can do with these plants. And ugh. Oh, well. Well, this is uh, Mr. Rapp. Miss Rapp, lots of love from Raphael from Sydney, Australia. Hey, my friend. First, I'd like to express my utmost respect. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you too, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for your dedication. I appreciate that. I, I try, you know, because we all have to stand up and help, you know, in that way. It's a, getting to be a pathetic scene out there and everything that's going on. And by the way, little tiger died. Uh, this little man that uh, three-year-old with the uh, already removed a kidney and something else in him. And uh, um, his body was so swollen when we got him. Uh, uh, they couldn't. They were feeding him by spoon almost, and couldn't even get a feeding tube in his stomach. All swollen up. Hard to save you when you're in those advanced states. You know, boy, would I love to have got that kid so much earlier. And that's our problem. You know, medical doctors do their experimental mad science thing, and then by the time they spit out the individual or the child, it, we have hardly any time to, to affect a, a remedy for them. And that's the saddest thing I have to say to the parents, you know, is that you're in a world right now where uh, it's just, it, it's bad that way. It's bad that way. 
and we have to make a difference. And that's why I think every one of you, Raphael, and your, all of you guys are essential to the uh, to the to the upliftment of this planet. Uh, however, you wish to look at it, uh, and spiritually in your own way. But you're just as responsible as all of us in the role of giving the light, the love, the, the knowledge, the awareness of this. And uh, you're all doing real well at doing that. On the subject of my symptoms, I have completely stopped any meats and now onto raw fruits and veggies, 90% of my diet. Go, go, go. After watching your YouTube videos, I decided it's time to change as you made all the sense. Absolutely, my friend. Go back to the native state. And that's exactly right. And it's funny, when you do, you get well. Like, oh, well, interesting, isn't it? I'm battling a bad case of flatulence. Okay. Now. When you're, if you have sulfur in your body, and we were talking about this with Dimitri, don't, it's not going to be all that fun coming out, especially if you're getting deep in that and coming out because it sulfur's a gas and it releases a tremendous amount of gas in your gut. It's not a happy time at all. The other type of flatulence, of course, comes from putrefaction or fermentation. Since you're off the meats, fermentation is more likely because putrefaction is of things like eggs and meats and tissue like that, where fermentation is more about your starches and, or, or, your, or your carbohydrates, and that's pancreatic. So if you're having a pancreatic issue and you're not digesting your carbohydrates, which is your fruits and your veggies and your berries and your melons, if you're not digesting those well, then you want a super chew, so you're digesting more in the mouth, Eat smaller meals more often, and at the same time, get into that pancreas and fix it. Now, what brings down the pancreas, again, go back to the lymph system, go back to the kidneys and adrenals. Also look at, you might have malabsorption, because when you see a pancreatic problem or a liver problem, it's generally not just one of those two, it's generally the whole colon and the whole small bowel. Because generally, it's the lymph system that causes this. Yeah, you can get into genetic memory problems of cells, blah, 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 blah. But those, those are highly fixable things. But the, the real issue, and going back to what breaks down the thinking of a cell, you're, you're looking at two sides of chemistry and two major fluids. Pick one. You're half right. See, that's how simple it is. And you have to realize that by the time the pancreas is having trouble, probably is your bowels are hooked to that as well. And you see that a lot in the eyes. And I'll try when we gonna when Drew gets back here, he's been on vacation. Uh, we'll, we got a lot of eyes to go over. Maybe I can remember to point that out to you guys, how you always see that bow involved there. And you really want to look at that. And uh, so I'd go after my pancreas. Matter of fact, you probably could do one alternate between one bottle of uh, liver gallbladder, one bottle of pancreas, one bottle of liver gallbladder, one bottle of pancreas. At the same time, get yourself on a stomach and bowel formula. Get yourself, I would, on a, a lymphatic formula for me, at least one a capsule, clean, up, clean my bowels more. Definitely do the two kidneys, the adrenals. I mean, go after this as, a, as systemically because you, you, by going after just one thing, you never get it. It's just it's difficult because the body works as a whole. It isn't about uh, products. It's about the body working as a whole, and you want to move it as a whole. That's why you see our flow with the kidneys and the adrenals, that which controls the lymph system itself. We're into the bowels. We try to pull and get the body working all together. That power is like no other, and at these days and times, with genetics this bad and the lips this bad, it requires this level. And if you don't get at this level, you're seeing the outcome out there. And you're seeing it in natural health people. You just got to get to these higher levels. And all it simply means is that you're living the life of a, a frugivore, and, or as close to it as possible. You know, some salads if you want, some green drinks. But you're living a life of more of a frugivore, and you're using herbs to help restore, to help accelerate the cleaning of the body and help restore the function or better the function of cells, whether they're pancreatic, whether they're hepatic liver, whether they're heart, doesn't matter. So when you look at the simplicity of that, then it's just gaining knowledge of what herbs are used for, uh, Knowledge about foods, minimal. You don't need much about that. The chemistry in them, uh, so what? Uh, vitamins, minerals, chimerans, uh, 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 just a laundry list of chemistry. You can get that down, but who cares about that, really? 
You know, I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, okay. But in a clinical setting, even you're gonna sit there and intellectualize in front of your clients and make show them how good, how much knowledge you have. No, you're gonna show them as easy as you can, as simple as you can, how to get well. Matter of fact, every time I have a client in here, I'm telling myself, how more simple can I explain this? And I've always used that in my life. Can I say it simpler and with less words? You know, can I say the same thing so simple that it's an aha moment for your clients or you or me? When you go, I get that, that is what you're looking for, not to be over someone. So let me see. So the flats ones. I would definitely get on the stomach and bowel formulas, the GI broom if you can tolerate that. Uh, pick up the liver gallbladder, clean that. Chew more until you get all that cleaned up. Uh, smaller meals more often. Uh, even if I juice my fruits and veggies, I still experience bad flatulence. And this could be just sulfur in you. Look at your eyes. Get a picture of your eyes. See if you have a lot of sulfur or orange around your pupil there. Uh, and see if that's it. Because this could just be the sulfur that it's pulling. So, I don't know. You know, clean up that bowel. Use these herbs to clean yourself up. And get your uh, lymph moving and everything. And it's either sulfur or it's either uh, digestion. You know, where you're having digestive problems. I'd like to know what you recommend. I've only just started this diet. Yeah, dive into this, my friend. Thank you so much there. And uh, from Australia. And dig in there. You've got some good people over there. And, um, you know, start working that out. Get the worms out of there. You know, deworm yourself. That's why I say... Try to do the basic kit first. That's a dewormer. You're into your kidneys. You're into your bowels. You're into the uh, liver gallbladder. I designed that kit to just pretty much kind of go over everything that we face, including deworming yourself, because everybody needs to deworm themselves. You just saw a few pictures and things here, but I'm telling you, we are a cesspool inside of us, and we are culturing all kinds of good boys. And, and it's just, you know, we, we that's always been a thing humans needed to do was deworm themselves. Um, Islanders have always considered that a must do. I don't know. So I think it's essential that you do all those things and then restore the function of the bowels, get it cleaned up. That's why the stomach and bowel, these are bowel restoratives. Uh, the GI broom, a major cleanser of that. Uh, definitely pick up the pancreatic and, uh, and uh, um, uh, liver function. But you could also have high sulfur in there. And that sulfur is always going to create a little bloatiness in the, in the abdomen and the uh, uh, area of the small and large bowel. Uh, gas, um, all these things, uh, acid burning, uh, all these things. Sulfur is not our friend. Not even close. Hi there, Dr. Morris. I have already sent you this message, but in recent videos you have said post your message again if it doesn't get covered. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Sorry, honey. I am 20-year-old male from Scotland. Go, my friend. Yeah, I've got some Scottish. Scottish. I found your uh, website through Dan McDonald, basically. How is Dan the man? Uh, basically, I have some acne scars. Mm, not actual acne, but the scars left over. I'm wondering whether your formulas would work in curing my problem with scars. You know what? That's a good thing you're saying this. Really get up there. It's going to take you a while, well over a year, my guess. But I would get 100% raw, and then I would dig up on the fruits, berries, and melons, and I would get in and super clean my body. you got to go in and clean the lymph anyway. That's what caused the problem. Clean your skin. Get yourself sweating. Get yourself filtering from the kidneys. Get your adrenals up, my friend, and get yourself really moving on this, okay? And uh, that, then your scars will slowly disappear and go away. I don't think the value of using E or like, uh, I love grapeseed oil, very really cleansing and healing, of course, to the tissue. Uh, but this is already scar tissue. The only thing that your body can do is it itself has to chew up this scar tissue and heal it. And it will do that. I've seen this over and over again. But you've got to be way up there. And you've got to get in and 
clean out the reason you had acne in the first place. Because whether you have it or not, if you haven't detoxed yourself deep, then right under your skin is an army waiting to tear you apart. And this is why you want to get a heads up on that and go in there, get a copy of your eyes and look at that. And just go after that limb system, get your kidneys filtered, go after why you had the acne the first time. Then you'll start to see the body in chewing up scars as it does bone tissue. Same thing. Same thing. Um, it makes me feel rather upset about this problem and I really hope you can help me. Absolutely it would. It would. But this is why we scar. And you particularly scar or get adhesions, which are little octopus, you know, structures, uh, when you're weak, when you're highly acidic. And that's what scars you the most. And that, of course, acne is a highly acidic condition, subcutaneously. When you see people with these issues, you look at their eyes subcutaneously, their lip nodes are backed up, their lymph system's backed up. Of course, they're not filtering. They're systemically involved. And some have low thyroids because they haven't been able to open up that skin and get this out. So cold sheet treatments definitely would be advantageous to you. Cold sheet treatment would really be beneficial to someone that's had acne, psoriasis, anything like that. At the same time, you've got to get your kidneys filtering. That's essential or, or, you know, you can't change this. So by going after all these things that, you, that, that they should have told you and put you on when you had this, is to correct the scar tissue as well. It's the only way after post-scar tissue. Keep you from having them, of course, is getting that hydration interstitially, is getting that. And it's hard because generally we learn after a problem, after surgery or the need for surgery, things like that, and we're only already highly acidic, uh, structure is weak, connective tissue is weak, so the body has to actually scar itself to lock it, to hold that in place. Just shows the acidosis and what acidosis does to human tissue, including connective tissue. I am sure if you could answer this question, it would also help a lot of us. But absolutely, with acne scars, absolutely. And that's any scars. Stretch marks, the same way. It's not a loss of tissue. I'm trying to cure more like excess tissue. Yeah, and that, that excess tissue. Same thing with bones. If you fracture a bone, the body will put a lot of extra tissue or cells around that, like the bone just grew real fat. And then if everything's clear in time, it'll take it right off of there. So it's just these sort of things. It's, it's your protective move of your body. But does it bring in your face, literally? Uh, what, what's going on here? And you got to go back, my friend, and fix this, okay? And this is ABHZ. Uh, I am trying to use. I, also, I was wondering if you could tell me your thoughts on two supplements, MSM sulfur and collagen tablets. Have you ever heard of a waste paper basket or a toilet? That's my recommendation. You take sulfur, MSM, glucosamine, these are sulfates you're going to end up in more trouble, more trouble. Matter of fact, I hope that you guys learn that you can't do sulfur compounds. They are not harmonious with the human body. They set up tremendous GI tract problems for the sake of hiding a symptom, never curing it. Because if anybody ever says MSM cures things, then turn them over to the FDA. Because that is a problem. Uh, in saying that sort of thing, because MSM doesn't cure anything. So this is the sort of thing that you've got to look at. Sulfur is highly suppressive to the lymph system. It's highly fungal. It's highly inflammatory. This is not a good thing. And collagen, you, you don't have to worry about that. You fix your glands, you fix your body, and your connective tissue, everything will tone and tighten beautifully, and you'll chew up those, that scar tissue, because your body doesn't want it there either. Let me tell you. It's supporting its structure because its structure is weak, which might give you an insight to maybe some parathyroid weak, uh, issues with that. So I definitely check your parathyroid. Calcium utilization, strengthen up connective tissue. So the strong then get rid of the weak and all that excess tissue will be chewed up right on. Thanks a lot for your time and keep posting up the videos. Thank you, my friend. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Love you, man. Oh, this is Daniel from Alberta, Canada. Hey, Daniel. I appreciate everything you said about the endocrine glands. Yeah, funny, those little puppies. You know, the thing about these little puppies is they literally control everything. So your endocrine glands are everything to the function of your body. 
without them, everybody else doesn't seem to know what to do. So the endocrine glands are a key, key factor here. One of the fab four. So when you look at their, you look at your body, there are some must do's. Must do's is elimination, both GI tract and kidney. So must do is clean up the bowels, the GI tract. That's a must do. Another must do is get your kidneys filtering. That's a must do over any other must do's. So getting your kidneys, which is the adrenal gland involvement. So you're right into the endocrine gland. So we'll shift there and say the endocrine glands is a must do. So you got three tissues already that's a must do focus in your life to be well and to get to well, Bill. And that is GI tract tissue, uh, urinary tract tissue, kidneys, bladders, all that, adrenal glands that control that, the skin. These are issues that are essential to wellness. Everything else takes a second seat. Everything. You know, because this system that you're working on literally, either neurologically or lymphatically, touch every part of the human body, including the heart, the brain. So these tissues are always a must do to get to well build. You must digest. You must absorb, you must utilize glands, and then you must eliminate the byproducts from these whole processes of digestion to the whole processes of cellular metabolism and respiration and all that that implies. Strengthening and detoxifying them to aid in the channeling of emotions makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Because you'll see that. You'll see that in your clients. You'll see that in yourselves. That weakness of these glands reach into the etheric bodies and they don't come out well. They don't, they don't, they, they're not able to express themselves well. So to get your emotions and your thoughts and, and thing to this level, because these are higher level experiences. Your mind is a much higher level experience than this very chemical world. If you looked, if you took your thought, your mind away, you took yourself to the side, you set your mind to the side, you set your emotions to the side, you're looking at a very chemical shell. It only has a few senses of outer sensory touch, perceptions, you know, feel, smell, touch, that sort of thing here. Uh, very minor stuff. And so without the, without the presence of you, there is no bodies at all because that's what they like loosely call the silver cord. But that, that's loosely the energy flow from, from the God source, which is you, Basically, to the to to ignite, turning the light on in all the all the rooms, all the bodies. You know, your bodies can't function without the light from you. Without your consciousness, your your bodies go away. That's why when you remove your consciousness, uh, you you're hooked to it until you cut it, or it is your time to leave here. Then that's all cut, and then these bodies just die away, depending on which level you're you go to and which level you're at. So uh, absolutely. There are no bioindicators for psychosis or schizophrenia. Yeah, and this is just talking to Victoria about that too. Uh, you 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 don't you don't have these things. And I think the most important thing for all you that are involved in these diagnoses is to don't get involved in the diagnosis. Don't be labeled anything because labels uh, are like backpacks and uh, ones with cannonballs in them. You, you don't want to wear a, wear a label around. That's just it's not, not good. You don't need to. And uh, it, it just locks you in a, a hell of a world of darkness. This is about health and vitality and pulling yourself back. Learn to get beyond your mind and emotions. Get your mind and emotions under control. Get your glands under control and healthy again. And it'll all just work itself through. Get flowers around you. Use flower essences. Make Put a smile on your face. You know, uh, start looking at the good of everything. Think about love. But take spend time with yourself. Fix the self. Get the self right. And when you can look and see God in everything, you're coming home, baby. You're really at, at a whole nother level. And that's what you want to try to do. Even with the people you don't like, you see the God, but you see the limitation of the, what the mind and emotions brought them and the suffering that that person is in. Because unless you get that breath of, of, of God consciousness, it's a, it, it's a, it, it's a journey. Uh, yet we have four separate bodies, not including our soul. Absolutely. The second episode of psychosis or madness that I experienced seemed to be about getting my consciousness level high enough to rid itself of a sickness or obstruction. Yeah, or separate from 
you know, being not a part of or pulling into. And that's the thing with soul is that it, it experiences by becoming. And that's the secret of how you get out of creation too, by the way. The secret is all in the art of becoming. And so if you want to watch a movie, you become the movie. If you want to experience uh, any drama, you become the drama. You want to experience male, you become a male. If you want to experience, you know, it goes on and on and on that way. To find yourself to get out of creation is to use the same technique, but it's called God absorption. And that is absorbing into the eternal now, which doesn't take any effort at all, because you're already a part of that. So it's just mere beingness. And that's hard for the mind to cope with that. It should send intellectuals out the, out the door. Really hard to deal with that sort of thing. Thought and non-thought, it's a Zen thing, you know. In a, uh, it was a healing crisis which due to being in the hospital was promptly stopped with medication. That's too bad because there is some probably healing crisis of the mind and emotions you really just need to shed. Get in the woods by yourself, scream, holler, shed it. Get it out of you. Get, it, get yourself away from that. Uh, people have entities attached to them, let me tell you. So shed, be aware shed anything that's not the light of God coming through and, and let that light come through you and don't let anything come into you. Don't, don't, don't try to be a channel for anything but the light of God. Uh, not even the ascended masters. Don't play those games. You know? And get yourself where you can get away from uh, having a healing crisis and, and medication stuffed down your throat. Toxicity and acidosis are the two root causes of unhealthy states of being. Absolutely. I read that and something clicked. I have an insight into the possibility of having a parasite in my mental and emotional body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's called conditioning. And this, this planet loves to condition you, but it's how the drama stays drama. You know, the, the mind becomes conditioned to your religious systems of where you're born and raised, your school, your country, and your patrioticness, and all these sort of things like that. It's all but propaganda crap. And they put it into us all. You know, but it's how you start controlling and bringing others under control. Religion saw that a long time ago. How you control the masses. You just use the, the name God. But you, you, you tie it into all types of things. And so, you know, it's the same thing. True spirituality is only between you and who you really are. And, 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 and absorbing into that which we loosely term God. And there's, there's no preacher, there's no master, there's only way showers that can help you to show you how you do that. You must, it's like this. You've got to do the detox yourself. If you don't do the detox yourself and you just read about it, you're mentally detoxing, but you're not physically detoxing. So you got to ride the bull, baby. Put on the robe, tie on the belt, and get ready to ride. Because that's what you got to do to get well. And it's the same thing spiritually, too. You've got to learn how to put yourself away from the mind, away from the emotions at times. Use them when you need them. And you know what? They're so, so big. And so massive, all you have to do is tell them what to do and they'll go do it and bring you back the information. You don't have to spend time following them. Uh, could this be true? I imagine it as something like a serpent-like strong worm in the astral. It definitely could be true. This is another thing. In the astral and causal and mental worlds, that's why you always surround yourself, and this is on the spiritual side for those, you always surround yourself with the light. You be the light. And on a lot of your iris analysis I've done for you in school, I say be the light. You know, be love, be light. You be so much of the now and life and love. There's no room. No entity can handle that kind of power. And at the same time, you're, you are, there's only you. There is no one else sitting there with you. And you, you when you have friends, keep friends and everybody else. It's like good relationships. Your best relationship is when you and your mate are individuals and you come together sharing that individuality but maintaining it. Then your relationship is trustworthy, honest, exciting, uh, beautiful in every sense of the way. But we tend to then absorb. Sex kind of does that to you, you know. You kind of become the one. And you have to be able to absorb and become the one spiritually 
but we become the one emotionally, we become the one mentally. I mean, pretty soon, you know, it becomes how we create creation. And then you're lost in that, and then unhappiness can take place. Your sense of freedom can be robbed from you. And no relationship is great if you don't have a sense of freedom within your own world, you know. Yeah, you could be right in all these levels. I think we're, you know, not to freak anybody out on this site, but I think we're in battles on all levels. I just don't want to talk about it at this channel, but there are all levels we're in battle with. That's why it's so vital that you work on being in the moment and you're getting beyond the mind and emotions where you can be hooked. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for this. And this, this, this young lad here is, is experiencing some of them, probably. This would seem easy to remove. It would be my body's ability to remove it through a healing crisis. Possible. Uh, could there be an obstruction in my emotional body or mental body? Yeah, I will. Okay. Um, can you tell him 10? 10 minutes. Okay. Thanks. Um, could there be an obstruction in my emotional body or mental body which my body is working to remove? It could be, Daniel, and you're awesome yourself. It could be, and it also could be past journeys that you're carrying around with you. You know, I you look at yourself as this huge spiritual being that's playing in endless worlds of creation. And you go from one experiment experience to another experience to another experience. You just don't come down from the Godhead for 60 years. That's not even a blink of an eye to, to the higher worlds. It seems forever here, but it ain't. It's like that. So you're, you're, on, you're on journeys, and you can bring some stuff in from some other journeys. But this is how you get away from this, Daniel. Is this what we're talking about? No matter what garbage you bring in emotionally or any other realm, whether you were hurt, died from very traumatic ways and stuff like this in other lifetimes, this is what matters the now. Nothing in the past and nothing in the future. The now. And you stabilize yourself. You fall in love with yourself for being the now. Being conscious. Having awareness. And get away from that mind and emotions. And sorry, I have to leave you guys. I wanted to... Maybe I can read another quick one. I have a long one here, but I don't have time to get into this. So, um, uh, this is one I need to get into, I think. This is Lou Paul. So, I'm sorry, I'm a, a Kiwi girl, about 38 years young, living in Australia, another Australian Lassie, and something you are, I have in common, among other things, is that two years previous to this, I lived in Portugal. Woohoo, Portugal! Wow, where'd you live in Portugal? Four years, my son, my partner and I traveled around in our self-made house bus, living off the grid, selling our homemade jewelry and, and carvings. Oh, I love that. I've wanted to do that all my life. Uh, our son, uh, Cuba, a very creative, vibrant time in our lives. Go Portugal. Mm -hmm. If you were in Portugal, you probably went to Sintra. Sintra, they, I saw a special on Sintra the other day. Cute little town up in the mountains where you have the castles and stuff. Good stuff. I love Portugal. I've said to you, you have been the catalyst for me to change my life around. Oh, thanks, honey. And gain hope and belief that I can heal myself. You best believe it. Uh, and be done with some very horrible symptoms of acidosis. I finally have the golden key. Yeah, baby. Uh, to make it simplified and easy, I have listed my symptoms below and a short history of health issues and drug intake. I also attach my eye pictures, which I would love for you to take a look at and give me a rundown. I know I have major lymphatic congestion. I'm working hard on that. I went uh, raw just over three months ago and am on week four of your detox kit. A few chats along the way, but trying my best. A few cheats, sorry. Uh, this week I hit my first real healing crisis and celebrating. Yeah, lots of mucus coming up from the chest and nasal pass. Oh, good. Drain the brain. Body aches and headaches. Perfect. Good healing crisis. Height, five foot two. Pituitary. You did. You hit that right on the head, honey. Definitely would be looking at your pituitary, which then also you would say, uh-oh, transverse colon. So, I've got colon, I've got pituitary, definitely, menstrual cycle short and light, definitely you're hitting at the pituitary, right on, honey. You can try the female reproductive formula for a couple of months, or you can do a pituitary glandular, either way. The female reproductive has some herbs like chase tree, excuse me, Vitex for that, or you can go ahead and, and that'll also strengthen the ovaries and uterus, or you can go ahead and take a pituitary glandular, I'd only do one and one if it was me, one bottle, see where that takes you. 
Uh, left eye has a visual floating black spot. Yeah, you could have a little detachment in there. Definitely use the eye wash to help with that. Again, check your parathyroid because you want to make sure your connective tissue is strong, that you don't get macular degeneration or detached retinas. You don't. You want to make sure that you bring together and strengthen connective tissue. Very important to do that. Black circles under the eyes, of course, that's uh, kidneys. So you really want to get those kidneys cleaned and filtering. That's essential to this. So everything's good. Wrinkly dry skin. Okay, so wrinkly skin. And she's 38 years old old or young, well, that tells you right away that we're dealing with the parathyroid. So I'd be working on that parathyroid. I'd, when I'm working with the parathyroid glandular, I add kelp. That'll give you the calcium. It'll give you the iodine to help pop up and that, that uh, thyroid, parathyroid. It'll give you the calcium for that. So definitely would work with that, showing that you're weak in connective tissue. You don't want that in an acidosis meeting, be, medium because that then you get the detached retinas. You get these floaters and stuff like that that are true tissues. Uh, weak, soft, uh, uh, splitting fingernails. Thyroid, parathyroid, honey. Uh, good case here. You got to go after that. But I'm saying that the pituitary is probably the influence, the influence on top of those two. But uh, do one bottle. Let's say if it was me, I would do a pituitary glandular one bottle, one and one, and then I would add a parathyroid with that one, one three times a day for a couple of bottles, and I would add kelp two, three times a day with that. That's what I would probably do if it was me. Because then you want to get, but at the same time now, honey, you got to keep pulling that lymph. You got to get that lymph, get that acid out of that body, get that mucus out of every part of the body there. Cold extremities, thyroid. But then the pituitary controls the thyroid and parathyroid. So you're right on hernia, just above belly. Absolutely. During pregnancy, okay, so you're right on. If you had any postpartum depression, that also definitely lacking calcium utilization, sweetheart, that is the parathyroid gland. But you have it right on. You, you guys are getting really smart here. Very thin, very, uh, very weak, thin, sensitive skin of the outer female region. Okay, now, use yourself a female napkin type thing. Make yourself some Hill All Tea. And uh, you can even mix three lung tea with that and use that down in the female parts. Use it over the vulva, use it in there and then let that absorb in and start healing that tissue up. Uh, I've got the, I'm out of my salve. I, I, they didn't make it for a long time. Now they're going to start making it when that comes in. Use that healing salve I have. For now, try to find some comfrey cream, some, um, 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 uh, a golden seal cream, anything that'll be healing, and use that on your female part there. At the same time, you got to get that kidney filtering. I would also douche, by the way, with some heal all tea. Take two weeks of your life. All you ladies need to do this if you've not done that. That's what that tea's for. And Jennifer already told you how some things she got out of her by doing that. So send two weeks, douche once a night. Uh, get your, you know, boil it, get it to skin temperature. Put it in a douche bag or a hot water bottle. In, lift your hips up in the bathtub insert it as much as you can hold it for a little bit release it and then do it again but really uh, start cleaning that area because this you're losing your vulva you're losing the female part and you can actually get atrophy down there if you haven't already that tears with or without touch yeah this is sad stuff you know honey but we've had a lot of cases like this uh, and been worse after having children no kidding uh, you, know, you have to clean and strengthen. You have to do the very things that it takes to be well, and that is clean and strengthen, clean and strengthen. So the, the, the using a, a poultice type uh, down there will, will help. Using a nice healing ointment will help, but it's the acids inside, interstitially. Do some uh, douching with that. At the same time, you get those kidneys up. You get those adrenals up. You get the parathyroid. you got to strengthen your connective tissue everywhere in the body. So get your parathyroid up up your, your, your wrinkled skin, get that out of there. You don't want wrinkled skin at 38 years old. So you want to make sure that skin gets toned and pops like a baby's butt. Real important to do that. And that, or not, that's just sucking you dry of calcium. You're getting dehydrated and it's sucking every part of your body, literally. Vaccinated a child, dairy, milk, ice cream, cheese. This is her uh, thing. I don't have time to read it all, but She's got a lot of stuff like all of us, milk and all that crap like that. In 20s, had chronic cystitis. There you go. 
right there. 20s had chronic cystitis. Again, your kidneys and bladder, you get to get out there, you're going to lose them. Antibiotics, UTIs led to kidney infections. Again, antibiotics. In 20s, leaves the London. Uh, experience. No offense about that, but the weather, you know. Recreational drugs, no, I don't care about that. In late 20s, I did an eighth month whole foods diet, Candida recommended diet, and improved some. Yeah, there's no such thing. 20, 2005 to 2011, birthing of my two sons, both cesareans, woo, due to apparent small size of my pelvis. Uh, so there you go. You're looking at small pelvis, and this is typical with females now because they're going down in the parathyroids. So their bony structures are getting smaller, the connective tissue is getting weaker and looser. I mean, it just goes on and on and on here. So go back and correct all these things. Pneumonia following birth. Ooh, ooh. And so, you know, you got a lot of mucus to come out of there. UTI. So you constantly are getting UTI. Kidney, kidney, kidney. But that's where your problem is. So you want to go right into those kidneys and adrenals. Get them filtering like we talk about on here and take off of this. Looking back, I see why I've come up with the problems that I know. See? See, when you get this, you guys are so good. I love you guys. You get this. And when you see the simplicity of it, when you get it, you start to see it everywhere. Oh, yeah, but that just makes sense. It all snaps in place. The puzzle snaps in place, and now it's a process of you moving through this. And it'll even snap more in place as you move through this. And then you get up into some of these extended fasts, and then we can have conversations of a much higher order, because at every level there's conversations uh, about what to experience. I'm so glad I gave and teach my children a better way. Yes, my eight-year-old watches your video. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. You know what? Uh, all I know is you guys just keep tearing this up. Uh, sweetheart, I got to run, but uh, uh, keep tearing this up. Yeah, thanks for this, all your information. Now, let me show you her eyes real quick. Uh, all right. Can you see that eye there? Am I too close? Look at how white. All right, this is a blue eye, obviously, but look how white. You see all that thick white? That's thick lymph, and you, you, you have a ton of lymph. Your body couldn't deal with dairy products at all, and you, your left eye shows the same thing. Very thick lymph. You have some skin going on here. You've got good genes, though, so this is a, a real important thing to help you here. I don't know which eye this is, uh, sweetheart. It's hard to say. Yes, I'm ready. Uh, two seconds. Uh, all I can say, if this is the right eye, I'm seeing a throat, I'm seeing a little thyroid, I'm seeing a chronic stomach and bowels, very chronic. you got to fix this. you got to fix your stomach, sweetheart. Very chronic stomach and bowels. That's that dark, a little small ring. Heavy, heavy lymph all through you. you got a little kidney and adrenals here, definitely the adrenals. Uh, a little groin on the, on the right side, if that's the right eye. If this is the left eye... Uh, got a little upper neck going on here, some more skin, a knee a little bit, kidneys need to be cleaned out, better adrenals on this side. You got great genes. Uh, again, chronic stomach and bowel problems, and you have thick, thick lymph. All this white, all this white is your lymphatic system. You should have eyes similar to this. And you got that thick white in there. So you got to get that out of there. And you got a lot of work ahead of you to get that lymph moving. But get it moving, and you will be on top of the world, sweetie. Thanks so much for your time. I got to run. I got a client. Love you guys. So good. I appreciate every one of you guys. And uh, thanks for the uh, shout out to the two just came down from New Hampshire. Uh, the girlfriend looks like a. Uh, Alaskan uh, beauty, and you see the Alaskan girls on TV, I think they're funny. You know, just all around the world, you guys are great. You're, you're learning, you're picking up, and you're helping others. And I tell you, we will be known to make a big impression on this planet because there's too much suffering. Holy crap, it's everywhere, and it's heartening, disheartening, you know. But I love you all, and thank you for being a part of this group Thank you, Facebook. Thank all of you guys for taking your time, tearing it up in your own worlds, and helping others to do the same. You will not regret one little time of this. Guarantee you, you will love what's coming to you guys.